and I'm back again, folks, with another video. This is Paul for Hookah.org, cleaning some more bowls. Now, I know I've been doing a lot of bowl cleaning videos as of late, but that's because that is pretty much the most requested subject that you guys have uh, have made a call for in our comments, on our forums, on my videos, uh, and this one is a little different. They may, these may seem like normal mod bowls, but these are actually unglazed, and I'm going to see how the uh, OxyClean method does with the unglazed clay in here, and how much of this staining it can really take out. All right, same as last time, we're starting in cool water so that these bowls can come up to temperature relatively slowly, and then we're gonna put some OxyClean in here once these uh, start boiling, and we'll see what happens. Okay, here we are. The bubbles have settled down. The water's looking pretty murky, and I think it's about time to check on these. Let's see what we got. All right, let's take a look inside here. Wow, okay. So a whole bunch of the uh, the gunk that was on the inside of this is entirely gone. It's still stained deep in the pores of that clay, um, but I really won't know what this will look like until it cools down and I can run some water on it. Uh, let's take a look at the other one that was a little less funky. Let's focus in. Similar, very similar. Um, yeah. So I'm going to give these guys a rinse once they are absolutely cool, and we'll see what they look like after that. Okay, I have taken a uh, sponge to the insides of these bowls. Uh, as you can see, the blue Maya bowl is still about as stained as it was when we started. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can zoom in and focus. Um, but there's no actual grime on the surface anymore, and there's no, um, I washed these out really, really well, because I didn't want any of that OxyClean left in the, uh, uh, the ceramic, um, but there's no, like, residual smell from, um, uh, from the previous flavors. I do suggest letting these, especially after boiling in water, I suggest letting these, the, uh, uh unglazed bowl, um, let it dry for a really long time. Don't try to speed up the drying process. Just let it be, leave it alone, and let it uh, take its course, because this is going to be a bit moist, and you don't want to risk um, the water inside expanding from the heat of coals and then this cracking. Uh, now, something I did notice, which uh, you'll see that the pink bowl did a pretty good job, um, but I don't know if you guys can see this. Let's see. Can you kind of see that, like, spider webbing, vein-like kind of coloring and discoloration up here around the rim? Uh, I don't know how well that's going to show up on camera, but um, I'm a little worried that the gross water soaked underneath the... Uh, um, the finish here underneath the glaze and kind of ran through some tiny little like um, below the surface cracks and it kind of looks like well, I mean, A, it looks kind of cool uh, but once again that's why I'm really suggesting that you let these dry out entirely uh, I'm going to smoke with these and test whether or not they're going to like explode on me or anything like that uh, and I'll get back to you guys with an update on that um, yeah but again I'm gonna let this dry out entirely so so far this experiment seems to be going pretty well eh, we'll see how it does in the future thanks for joining us guys happy smoking